Hey, how's it going everybody? So in this clip right here, there is a logo that has been Greeked out in post. And it's not the WD-40 logo over here. So I'll open this window up so you can get a larger view of it. So somewhere in this frame, there has been a Greeked out logo in post. It's really hard to see because I blended it in. I'm gonna remove this top clip and then you can see that it reveals the Craftsman logo up here, which I hid. Now back to Greeked Out, Ungreeked Out. So I'm going to show you how to do this real quick. It's very simple. We're going to start from scratch. So you have your clip right here. This is the clip you want to edit. And I'm going to copy it, Control C. And I'm going to just lay over the exact clip on top of it. So exactly the same. I'm going to remove the sound first because I don't want double audio. So now I'm going to go over to effects and you're going to want to choose the Gaussian effect. I'm 99.9% .9 sure that's how you pronounce it. And you're going to drag it over onto your top clip. And as you can see, it's blurry now. So what we're going to want to do is crop this down. So we're going to go to the crop button. Make sure you don't do transform because that'll adjust the whole picture. Go to crop and we're going to crop this down. And we're going to try and make it roughly the same size as this logo up here, which is pretty much impossible to do in the window right here. But we're going to put it up on here and then we're going to adjust it further with some tools up in the menu that can help us to adjust it further. So I'm looking at this right now and I can see that I just smudged out this area up here. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to try and hide the fact that we are smudging this out because right now it's pretty obvious. Watching this you don't want to have anybody's eye distracted by the fact that there's a smudgy mark up here. And then people will be wondering, what the hell is that that he's hiding up there? So how I'm going to do that is I'm going to use these tools up here. So first I'm going to make sure that this top layer is selected. And I'm going to adjust this slightly. There, so as you can see, I've completely covered up this logo right here. And you can't tell what it says. But it's still showing up on there. You can still tell that something's been messed with up here. So what I want to do next is I want to try and match the color to this object. So I'm going to go back over to my effects. I'm going to grab the color correction, drag it over, and we're going to go up and we're going to color correct this. Now this is black so we want to match the darkness of that black object. It could be a little bit better, but you get the point. I should probably move this bar out a little bit further so it touches here and move this one up left so it, it touches there. And then it'll pretty much black out this whole top area. You can still kind of tell that there's something there, but at least it's a little bit hidden. I mean, you have to look pretty closely to notice that right there. But yeah, and you just kind of work with it a little bit and just kind of get it right. So I'll show you a couple more examples. On these bicycles, I had to Greek out the logos and post. So as you can see, on this bicycle frame, the logo has been removed. Now, when I remove this top clip, you can see that the logo appears right here. Put it back on and you can see that it's hidden. And what I did was I just went up to the color board, did the exact same thing as I did over here, and just messed around with it until I got the right red color to match this bike frame. It's not perfect, I know there's probably better ways to do it, but for small logos, I think it works well, uh, especially for shots like this, where it's a dark object and you can easily mask it. It's quick. Other objects like this one took me longer to mask just because I had to match this red frame which is harder to match the red color uh, using the color board but I did it. 
black is easier because all you have to do is go down on the exposure control but that's it and now you are able to block out certain parts of your video and have it not be noticeable if you like this video please subscribe and i will continue to post helpful tips from final cut pro and other things i find entertaining